China has placed tens of thousands of people in lockdown as it takes action to stamp out a growing COVID-19 outbreak. Nearly 40 new infections have been detected, bringing the total to more than 100 over the past week. Beijing is trying to wipe out the virus ahead of the Winter Olympics, and that's just over 100 days away. Lockdowns, mass testing, disinfection. All these measures are making a comeback in northern China as the region works to stamp out a new COVID-19 outbreak. But the Delta variant is putting this zero-tolerance strategy to the test. The virus has already spread to nearly a dozen provinces. Beijing has also been hit with several housing compounds locked down after nine cases emerged. People in the capital have also been advised not to leave the city unless necessary. The latest outbreak is linked to a group of domestic tourists that traveled across China. Authorities have warned that the situation could worsen. Sporting events have also fallen prey to the virus. The Beijing Marathon has been postponed indefinitely, while the event in Wuhan has been abruptly cancelled. The disruption has affected around 50,000 people. Olivia Xiong joins us live now from Beijing for more on this. Olivia, what's next for authorities given that the Winter Olympics are approaching? Well, Don, even though the number of COVID-19 cases at the moment is relatively small compared to many other parts of the world, the key phrase here in China is zero tolerance. And there is, at the moment, no indication that Chinese authorities will be changing this strategy. And given that the Winter Olympics is taking place in about three months or so, we do know that there are strict COVID-19 measures that have been already announced uh, getting ready for this large-scale event. For one, we do know that even though Beijing will be allowing spectators into these games, uh, there will be no overseas fans allowed uh, into these gaming venues. Only those living in China will be able to watch the games live in person as well. They have also announced that there will be strict COVID-19 protocols that athletes and officials will have to observe. That includes daily testing as well as living in a closed loop environment as well. In Beijing, vaccination booster shots are starting to be administered, including priority being given to those participating and helping with the organization of the game. So, uh, but we've already seen with this latest outbreak that two marathons, one in Beijing and one in Wuhan, have been postponed. And one might wonder what might happen if there were to be an outbreak during the Winter Olympics. But that's certainly something that authorities want to avoid. And so we see them coming down hard and imposing strict containment measures. Here in Beijing, with local cases being found, we've seen housing compounds being sealed off. We've seen uh, authorities also tracking and tracing people, uh, making them report on their travel history as well. And many have been placed under stay home orders in the meantime, too. And you're under quarantine in Beijing as well, Olivia. That's right. It's been quite an experience. I'm speaking to you from my home. I'm about more than halfway through a 14-day home quarantine. And following that, I will have to go through. We do apologize for the audio quality. That was Olivia Xiong in Beijing telling us about the situation uh, in China. She's in quarantine herself there as well.